Okay, so in this video I'm just going to quickly show you how to texture an object in Blender, uh, but also then have it set up so that it works immediately for you in Unity without having to import any textures or anything like that. So uh, here is our, our object, and before we begin, uh, what I'm going to do is just quickly show you the way we organize our folders. You see here I am in my, this is my project folder for Unity, I've got one called Year 12 Test. And inside there we have our assets folder and I've just set up a new folder for my wall, it's going to be a brick wall. And inside my brick wall I've got the actual texture already to go, the one that I want to use. So if you're going to use multiple textures you'd have them all in here already. So when we save our Blender file we'll be saving it into this folder. Okay, so back in, uh, in Blender here uh, we'll just do, apply a quick texture so I'm just going to drag that second window out and just change it to being my UV image editor. And on the right hand side here we have our wall, so just tab into edit mode then press U to do our UV mapping and we're just going to do the smart UV project. So we've got our six uh, sides on the right hand side there. <clears throat> so the next step then is to just open up uh, texture and so the one I want in my brick wall folder is, there it is, brick texture and it appears nicely. Now uh, just to double check, it doesn't look too dreadful, let's just change over here in our user view from solid mode to texture, oh okay, not good. So we might just change uh, that front face, so I'll select that and over on the right hand side you can see where that rectangle is. Now clearly it's been rotated 90 degrees, so I'll just select all of that with A and I'll just rotate it with R 90 degrees and then I can now scale that one with S and I'll just scale it out on the x-axis there it is there so I'm kind of assuming you have the basics of how to sort of move things around um, and uh, I won't worry about those sides I might just do that other face so remember you just right click to select that face over here on my UV image map I just press A to select that whole thing, that's all, G to grab it and put it in the middle, R to rotate it, and I then just type 90 because I want to rotate it 90 degrees, and enter to confirm that. Then once I want to scale it, I just press S for scale, and then I can choose the axis. So in this case I want to scale it on the x-axis, so I'll just drag it out until I think it looks roughly realistic on the left there. So that's that's not too bad, so I think we might, we'll stick with that. So over here, I'll just because there's one texture, I'm just going to tab back to object mode. And over here on the right hand side, I just need to find this option here, that is my materials. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a new material. So click on the plus, that's a new slot. Uh, click on new for the new material, and I'm just going to double click on that and call it brick. And that's pretty much going to be it, I believe. That sh hopefully should take care of things. So my last step now would just be to file and save this. So I'm going to save this into the folder that I showed you at the start. So I'll go find my Unity project, there's year 12 test. And inside that folder there's assets and brick wall. So I'm just going to save it in there and I'm just going to call it brickwall.blend. Gosh, it's really hard to see on the screen. That is a tiny, tiny... UI. Anyway, we'll save that and hopefully that has now been added in Unity. So we'll go to Unity and it is busy importing. Alright, there's our brick wall folder. So I'm just going to open that up and you can see straight away there is our brick wall. Perfect. So uh, I might just, always a good idea to generate colliders unless you want to be able to ghost right through it, so I'll just apply that. And uh, so now if I just drag this in, oh, once it's finished applying, yep. If I drag that in and press play, we should be able to see our object, wherever it is, there it is, fully textured and ready to go. Look at those lovely bricks. Now uh, one thing that is quite nice in Unity is that you can create your own normal map because obviously the bricks are a bit flat at the moment. So if we have a look at our 
brick texture here, if we select that, we can um, go Control D to duplicate it, and that will create a copy. Here it comes, it's thinking. And when you select that, over here in the inspector, you'll see right now the texture type is default. If we change that to a normal map, and uh, I just tend to say create from grayscale, and it will come through very, very bumpy by default. So I'm just going to change that right down to something quite low, like 0.03 or something. Um, and you can just try both sharp and smooth. It's really up to you. I'm just going to try smooth for this one. And just press apply. And what that will do is it will, uh, Unity will now generate a normal map from that image. And you can see there it is there. Now uh, to apply that, in your hierarchy over here, find your object. There's the brick wall. And you can see there's my brick texture, my shader, and you can see under albedo there's the actual texture itself. What we need is our normal map. So I'll just grab that normal map we just created, drop it on there, and it should apply it straight away. So now when we walk over to our wall again, which I have to find, there we are, it should have, come around the side so we can actually see it, a little more texture. Now it's not perfect but it's a start. So from there, um, what you would want to do then is just select your normal map and go through and just play around with those settings. So if I change the bumpiness right down and hit apply, um, hopefully we can sort of see how that changes it. Yeah, that's made it a little bit more easy on the eye. So you just play around with those settings and it's done. And obviously this is a, like a very quick normal map that Unity does if you want to do your own uh, you could use another program to create one. But anyway, the most important thing to take out of this is that when you're creating your object in Blender here, make sure that you save it and the texture into a folder that are inside your assets folder in your Unity project. Thank you.